We begin at 5 with a family's search for justice. Tonight, two daughters are pleading for the driver who struck and killed their father to turn themselves in. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is on Columbus Boulevard in South Philadelphia with more on this case. Howard? Jessica, the intersection here is about a mile away from where Jorge Hernandez lived. As you might imagine, his family is heartbroken. He was a very hardworking person, and I think. We were his biggest pride and joy, and he told us that all the time. Jorge Hernandez's daughters are grieving the sudden loss of their father. Eyewitness News spoke with Amelie and Giselle Hernandez in their family home in Point Breeze. A shrine to him is now growing in their living room. He wasn't just any other person. He was a father. He was a husband. He was a grandfather. He was more than just. A simple person that was crossing the street. Hernandez immigrated to the United States 26 years ago from Mexico. He worked as a chef at an Italian restaurant in Sea Isle, New Jersey. He was killed Saturday night crossing Columbus Boulevard in South Philly. This is surveillance video released by police. It's paused at the moment of impact, but the impact was so severe that parts of the vehicle were found in the street. Police are looking for a gray pickup truck with damage to the front end. Police say it would be impossible for someone not to know they hit something or someone. It looks like the driver tries to stop either before or right after the collision, but at any event, they didn't stay. So they need to come forward. It's very heartbreaking to know that after they knew what had happened, they did not stop. It's it's completely inhumane to do that. Hernandez's family is pleading for the driver to come forward. He always fought for us, and now it's our turn to fight for him. And funeral services are being planned for Saturday morning. Live in South Philly, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Howard, thank you.